for the final battle. It was nice. It's massive. Uh, hopefully my party is correct. What an incredible structure. So that high point is where this tower fires its divine light. You can still hear the battle going on outside through there. They're still putting it all on the line for us. Salver Soldat should stop moving after we disable Elysium. You see the central terminal? It's that. That looks exactly like... It's a black version of the sonorous seashell. So they really did duplicate it. They must have used the same method to duplicate the Emperor's artifacts. Now we know where the fight to get the shell was a little too easy. It looks like it's fitted to amplify Elysium's power. That would be correct. I have been anticipating your arrival. Welcome, Reed Schwarzer and Class 7. The same to you, Lloyd Banning's Special Support Section. And to you also, former Governor General Rufus Habarea. To the Bracers, Grawlsware. To those once with Ouroboros, or the Garden. And a special welcome to you, Elysium's first administrator. You have assembled a fine, formidable group. <laughs> Knew we'd run into you. <sighs> so he's a replica of Wings? How does he know about us? He must be playing dirty and using Elysium's power. What? This, this feels somehow different from when we met in the castle. Chest feels really... really... Is this why I I don't understand why do I feel like this what's gotten into you all there's something very different about this one he's not like the divine blade of wind or McBurns the supreme leader was a perfect replica of me but he Everything about him, outside of what we can see of his face, is different. But when I look at him, I can't help but feel he has to be Reen. Just... Just who are you? I have already answered that question. I am. Huh? His name is still... No, it's as though his very being is somehow distorted. So... I was right. No, you weren't. What's that, Lloyd? Lloyd? You figured it out. Now you know the truth behind what's happening and what stands behind Elysium. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought Elysium alone was at the center of this. Is that not the case after all? It's not. What we're seeing shouldn't be possible. But the Reen standing before us is as real as the Reen who stands with us. He's just a version of him had he made a different choice in life. Wait. I don't understand. Neither do I. The basis for my belief stems from what happened two and a half years ago in the Azure Tree. There we learned a truth that shocked us to our core. We learned that every one of us in the SSS had died in battle. The truth weighed upon the little girl left behind. It weighed so heavily upon her that she used the power she possessed to undo their deaths. It was something she should never have done, and she knew it. 
she couldn't help it. Kia. Yeah. The power to rewrite destiny at work. We never had the chance to hear much about that side of events. It happened when we were dealing with the cult then? We only learned of it in the Azure Tree ourselves. That's right. We've got no one to blame but ourselves for not being strong enough to stop it. Then, Mr. Grimwood and Bell went on to try and use that power to remake all of Crossbell. So... so what's happening here is... The world in which we live now is but one of an infinite number of paths history could have taken. The smallest of differences in how we live and act can have massive consequences for the future. Can you think of times where your actions could have led to a radically different future? <sighs> when I took all of the Great Twilight's curse into myself, if we didn't have the Holy Beast's Earth in prison... No. It can't be. Then you're... Who I am. Yes. I am another future calculated by Elysium. Another Rain Schwarzer. From the Great Twilight's Curse, I was given form. Call me Ishmelka Reen, if you will. Okay, y'all gotta work on that. That's... a sword of the end? Or a tachi of the end, in this context. Th then you really are... Are you Ishmelga? No. I am Ishmelga no longer. Nor am I Reen Schwarzer. I am what would have been had destiny followed a different course. After the final rivalry, the Ashen Knight and I departed the Imperial Fortress. Beyond the atmosphere could be found a space ruled by naught but an all-consuming darkness. There, Reen Schwarzer and Ishmelga were swept in a vile, unending cycle of fusion and domination, of denying one another's self in a battle for control. This conflict within us birthed a perennial being who had long forgotten what it once was. It was a rivalry staged to never have a victor. All that was left was to wander the darkness and endure the hopeless battle within. That was its fate. That's... awful. How could you endure so much torment? <laughs> Milliam and I couldn't stick with him till the end, huh? We were already at our limit as it was. If we had just done a single thing different. This could have been my future. Elysium made untold calculations to see this potential future. And through it, found evil incarnate in the form of Ishmelga. Is that what eroded Elysium and purged Lapis from its system? Yes, that's how it sounds. You have my thanks, Reed Schwarzer. For what? When I first awakened here, my existence was still unstable, my unending conflict festering within. But two beings who cannot coexist resonate with one another, assimilate when they meet. That resonance allowed me to break free from my stalemate and establish a self in this world. My existence is a higher being, an amalgamation of Reed Schwarzer and the Great One. <clears throat> so that's why you're here. 
then everything you've done here was in order to destabilize Reen's existence and establish your evil in his stead. Your thanks leads me to believe we were destined to come here all along. We may well have. Elysium's existence means our being here could have been within its calculations. Unbelievable. You did manage to surprise me in one way. I had expected the first to reach the truth would be Reen Schwarzer, or Elysium's former administrator. Not a mere police officer. It's all inexperience. Maybe I needed my friend's help laying out the pieces. But it was thanks to them that I had those pieces to put together. I wasn't alone. And that made all the difference. Lloyd. So it's time you talked. What are you trying to do? You're only here because Elysium's calculations found you as an alternate possibility, right? What's your goal here? What drives you to make a mess of the entire continent? A mess? What a peculiar way of putting it. My goal is to save this continent. This world. You thought Elysium finding me was coincidence. It was anything but. Elysium may have been corrupted by my influence, but its goal has remained entirely unchanged. It found precisely what its instincts drove it to find. It sought the hero who ended the Twilight, Reed Schwarzer. And it sought the cause of the Twilight, Ishnaka. All for its goal of uniting the continent and gifting it eternal peace. What? Nothing you've said has made any sense. It's also completely incongruous with your actions. The Great Twilight made clear the imperfections of humanity and the evil that pervades it. Elysium knew it would keep inviting upon itself disaster if left to its own devices. And it would not be long before the next. My actions seek to remove the seeds of disaster before they can bloom. Who better to act than one who is the embodiment of evil and the hero who sacrifices himself to bring salvation? Elysium could seek no one finer. <gasps> then this tower is for that purpose. Everything that's happened has led to here, it would seem. I stand before you to carry out that which Elysium deemed best after untold calculations. Once the world's recreation is complete, humanity will ascend to its next stage of evolution. You're making quite a number of assumptions. Elysium's nature is to observe and to calculate, nothing more. It can't draw conclusions or understand what's best for this world. And you had better stop acting like it does. Discovering and realizing you was never intended in its realm of possibilities. All you are is a bug in the system. You tell him, Lapis. Phew, she's on fire now. You're very confident in your ignorance. Elysium expelled you for standing in the way of its objective. You aren't half the expert, you. And you aren't half the expert on this world. I... never realized how much I didn't know till I had my body. I didn't know about all the different kinds of people who lived in Crossbell and Erebonia. I didn't know of the hardships they had to endure just to live their lives, or of the strength they mustered to overcome them. I didn't know how delicious lunch or dessert was. I didn't know they could taste better just by eating them with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was so much in this world that can't possibly be calculated. So Elysium's logic is flawed. Any conclusion it tries to reach without knowing what I know now can't be anything but. And if it dares to force such a future on us, well, as its former administrator, I'm going to stop it! As if you have the strength. 
What do you expect to achieve alone? She's not alone. We're right here with her. Now that I know the truth, it's hard to look at you and not feel all kinds of emotions. I wonder if I'm only standing on this side because I was a little bit luckier. Or maybe the karma from that has given me these changes to my hair and eyes. But I'll balance it out by bringing you back, Reen. No one should have to bear the burden of saying goodbye to everyone they love. So I want to free you from your curse. I want to share with you everything our father, master, and loved ones wanted for us. Reen. Not often you get a chance like this. We're going to make you see just how much it hurt to lose you. When our instructor's down, it's up to us to cheer him right back up. It's funny how much they're like us. Yeah. Becoming Junior Bracers helped us form so many wonderful connections. They started in Liberal, then they grew to Crossbell, and even Erebonia. No man is an island, and our bonds give us the strength to surpass anything life throws at us. You have been behind everything that's plagued Crossbell since the day of the signing ceremony. Ishmelga Reen, we will be placing you under arrest for its illegal occupation and subsequent large-scale terrorism. Only then can we call this case closed. We have no reason to hesitate. As police, as human beings, it's our duty to see this through. We went through a hell of a lot as old co-workers, so I've got no problem knocking you on your ass when you're out of line. Enough, I tire of this. If you insist in standing in the way of this world's rebirth, Oh, they both curate each can do other. It. That's amazing. Okay, there's a lot to unpack there. Uh, him being named as Schmelgarin, Reen? That's whack, yo. If you need me. I ain't down for the block on that one. Also, him being, like, him being the administrator, it's not, I guess, technically confirmed, 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 but it's basically confirmed that he's the administrator. That's just kind of disappointing. Like, nobody cares about this guy. He's not interesting. It's me! I think both reams will merge since they can't have two reams. Maybe. How plain. I'll follow up. But friendship. Here to play. I right, can keep the friendship. I'll go. Is this the uh 
the opening movie music? Sounds familiar. Say, you say, my guy. Oh, yeah. You like to see it. All for one. And one for all! We'd best prioritize defense. Perish for the Simpleton. How plain. Did I get rid of his, uh, whatchamacallit, with my Unite attack? I'm here. And I was like, you're gonna get a crit? You can't have that. Listen, you say I could totally die again. I'll take care of it. Take care of it. I'm gone. Your end is done. The trouble of flame. Simple. How plain. I'll follow up. I'm here. One? Get rid of those debuffs. I really don't like you staying right there. I feel like it's gonna come bite me in the booty. Yo, Tita hasn't gotten a turn in a long time. How shall we play? Huh? I'll take care of it. If you need me. Here to play. Here you go! They're 
Too late. <laughs> I'm gone. It really does sound like she's saying you're dumb. <laughs> you stupid sucker. I'm gone. I'll take care of it. I need to be careful. How shall we play? An S craft is gonna show up, and I would like to not be destroyed by it. Sometimes they'll act immediately, sometimes they don't, you know, I, I don't want to take any chances. Definitely healing all that. Here to play. Huh? Gonna sit here with one of that. I'll go. That effect. Uh, four turns. We'll wait. HP. Doesn't look good to me. How plain. I'll follow up. Please. stuff to go through. I'm I'm like seventy percent sure she's saying you're down. But it really does sound like you're down. And it just it cracks me up every time. Can't help but but hear it. Yeah. 
Controller, please. Controller, please. Thank you. Go as your wings. Was a hundred thousand. I was thinking about S crafting, but we already know there's going to be a phase two. This is a JRPG. Oh, you're down. Not going to be doing that. Turns. Two turns. Arcus, activate. I'm gone. I can do it. Take care of it. Yeah. Oh, you say my diet. Okay. We got the damage reduction. Boss was like level 150. I know. the assimilation advancing further? <sighs> That's exactly what is happening. A being should not be able to do battle with itself. The act threatens the laws of this entire world. But it won't be long before all is well. For your end will come by my own hands! Descend, almost primal and ultimate being! So are Gilstein, the Seraph Knight! There's still time for uh, Master Kafai to show up. All of its readings are off the charts. How is this even possible? Wait, if he's Rain and Ishmelga as one, then this knight can only be. It's the Great One forged through the final rivalry! This is what Valimar would have become if we had allowed the process to finish. Then it holds the power of all seven knights and of the Fire and Earth Septarions? This isn't anything like what we fought in the Imperial Fortress. Is there anything Elysium can't recreate? 
how are we supposed to best this? Stop, guys! You can't give up yet! Can you hear me, young ones? We're ready to send what you requested! Set the coordinates! All right! Give us a hand! Of course! Don't make this a Divine Knight battle. We spent the whole game not doing a Divine Knight battle. You're, yeah, you're doing that. You suck of fools. Got it. The next step is you, Father Thomas. Now go, machines of man. How are you teleporting them into the place? When, like, why didn't you just do this originally? Bring us in there this way. Also, how do you know that we're we're right here? We could be a, we could have went down a hundred floors, and you wouldn't be helping anybody this way. The branch campus is soldats. Instructor Reen and Crow's tear fin units were sent too. It's already been repaired. That's how George and Makarov do it. Is that Golden Helmered? I arranged for an undamaged unit to be configured to my specifications after our battle in the city. When? You've always got something going on. Rufus. I'm simply doing my part. The rest, I'll leave to you. Counting on you all. Show off a little for us. You got it. Uh, you know, just hang tight for a second. We gotta go through a couple of checks. You know, boot the systems up. Make sure everything's going well. Mic check one two. Do you believe those heaps of scrap can defeat two septarians? We got time to find out. If we coordinate well enough, I'm sure they can. Elysium has calculated your chances of winning. And they are zero. Be as sure as you like. But nothing can change what has been predetermined. But they're not negative one. There is no future to be had for you. Your existence ends here. Missed the enemy's HP to 85%. And here we go. Soul dot battles. Everyone's favorite battles. Aim for the arms, body, or legs to unbalance your opponent. Once unbalanced, unleash a follow-up attack with A to earn 1 BP. Each part has a separate unbalance efficacy value with more stars, indicating a higher chance to unbalance. Uh, use the BP gathered to unleash finishers and unity attacks. Use charge to restore EP or spirit when your HP is running low. Enemy crafts can be extremely dangerous. It's a good idea to ha have the targeted ally defend on their turn. Pressing LT allows you to more clearly see your target when issuing a command. It's my turn. Where's Rufus? Oh, they're gonna do this like, um, like uh, the dragon battle in Cold Steel Three, I believe. We get them to eighty-five percent. These characters swap out. The other set of characters swap in. Boom, shaka, laka, bang, bang. That's how they gonna do.
Okay. Well, things are still relatively familiar. That was a four star. Jesus. It's my go. Much for defending, huh? There's also something fundamentally wrong with uh, introducing a brand new type of battle that needs a tutorial as, you know, the the final, final battle of the game or final series of battles of the game. Must be a bad calculator. We all know we will win. I don't know about all that now. You see what's going on over here? Here we go. Guy hits for like 80,000 HP. It was like half some people's HP. Oh no, uh, like a third of people's some people's HP. been like some side story or anime or something like that that explains you know where the tear scene comes from and all of this stuff I didn't see all that I was gonna heal. Oh, that's that's not for everybody. My turn. Okay.
Should not have done this, but I feel like it's going to be good. This is scripted. It's, only, it's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> to 80%. I gotta do 5%. Y'all, funny. Definitely Time wrong. That says four. Slicer and Pede Divine Arc. I'm just doing that to get it out of the way. Defense for everybody sounds like a decent plan. Time to show off. Spirit. This will be fun. You're mine. Oh, you're back at full HP. Good to me. Oh, that costs. Okay, I see. I see. Time to show up. Alright, getting 
slapped up. Ready. This'll help. Numbers up. Go for the arms again. It's the worst yeah. that can happen. <laughs> Your strength debuff would be much more valuable. Emma's coming up. Oh, wonderful. up spirit all right spirit <laughs> time to show up darkness thunder them it's darkness saber <laughs> How are we still doing this? Ready. Going next anyway. This'll help. Numbers up. It just. Sometimes it just does not feel worth it to attack. You know, it's on guard. Y'all missing way too much. Charging. This will be fun. And it's just too frustrating. Now, eat this. <laughs> That's what you get for being careless. <laughs> Tanks, one more slice. All right, Crow is dead. I need to do something. Oh yeah, people are dead. Swap. I was like a swap. Ah, oh, they still got Sarah as an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switching in. Who are you targeting? Who's Giga dead? You. 
All right. Charging. I don't know what we're gonna do about him being dead. to heal and just hope for the best. That's probably the right choice. Very well. Yeah. I'll take care of it. You are going right. to defend. You are going to charge. I got you. Your end is Defending was a great I idea. I am definitely just squeaking by right now. I got you. Engaging. Spirit. Perish. All right. Spirit. It's my turn. Be restored. I guess he's one shot on everybody now. Next ring. Ninety percent. You got. Substitute single attack. Sounds like risky business. Engaging. Well,
We would think that Sarah's would be good still, but only one turn. Elliot's just seems risky. I'll handle the rest. Spirit. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yep. Let's go. Back to this. Bring it on. All right. Because it is the thing worth using. Defense buff. It's my turn. My turn. There. Let's go. Chose the option that I chose. Now, got him. Simple. All right. Spirit. Let's go. Honestly, it's kind of easier to navigate this when it's just 1v1. All right. Spirit. Because then I don't have to worry about other people getting not getting turns and things like that. I have the one person that I need to get a turn. Let's go. And they are always going to get their turn.
I don't really know what I want to do right now. I'd be taking a chance on this one. I needed that unbalance, and there was a small chance I wouldn't get it. is as terrible as the yeah. other one. Yup. Yeah. 